Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, if not, thumbs down works as well, and if you like knife content and you're not already, please hit that subscribe button, you don't want to miss any content. Alright, today I have another unboxing for y'all, this one was uh, ordered off of a pre-order a pretty good while back, I totally, totally forgot about this knife until I got a... Um, uh, email saying that it was on its way and I was <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised and this is coming from a Purvis Blades let's check it out um, let's see right. Oop. It, it's always like uh, uh, Christmas morning I'm using the spider code Delica dragon I mean dragonfly uh, it's always like Christmas morning whenever you forget about a knife and it comes in. Now I'm using a QSP Penguin to pry this box open. I always have trouble getting these boxes open. No, not this one. Alright, he, he has such a cool logo. Look at that. Oh, I like Adam. Adam's a super nice guy. Uh, I've met him, I've hung out with him. Well, not really hung out. I've met him, talked to him a bunch at Blade Show a couple of years. And just a really nice guy, and uh, he has a knack for designing some pretty cool knives. So let's check it out. Look like we've got some swag in here. Nice hard box. Can't remember if these were made by Riot or We. I want to say We, but I could be wrong. If somebody knows, just let me know down in the comments. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's see. He is a uh, a firefighter. So I'm guessing this is uh, his fire his uh, fire mask that for the smoke, and it says a Purvis I guess underneath here. Yeah, a Purvis. Super cool. Or am I looking at that wrong? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. The mask goes this way. This is the bottom of it. This is the eyes, and this is the valve opening valve. Cool. Super cool swag. He always has something in his um, in his packages. This is my third or fourth knife. Fourth, no, third knife from him. This is the Xerx Integral, and I missed out on the original. And uh, whenever he said he was doing a pre-order for this one, I thought it looked pretty cool. And I'll see if I still like it. Nice integral design. This is a big one. Uh, kind of looks like Riot, the way they, they put that insert on the outside, and I'll show you what I mean. I have another uh, Riot integral. This is the Diskin. I uh, can't remember the name right now, but see how they do the insert like that on the outside. I had a wee one. I think they do it from the inside. Uh, wow, that's a pretty large detent hole. <laughs> wow. Let's see, this one doesn't have a detent hole in that. That's crazy. wonder why they had to do that. I don't really understand that because it could have been on the other side and they didn't even have to have a hole right there. Uh, got a nice milled out pocket clip. Good spring to it. I opted for the blasted version with the uh, the holes in it so you could see the blade pretty cool and you're like open up the blade already so as you can see you got a harpoon let's check out the action pretty good action so there you go well I can already let me wipe this thing down it's got oil on it <laughs> yeah I know I'm joking when I say that huh it's got oil on it wow I can already feel that hollow grind right there is talk about thin. Woo! Very, very nice. This should be an excellent cutter. You got the flat grind, you got the flat grind up here in the front. So very, very good looking grinds. I'm trying to get it without my camera going crazy. So it's a harpoon. What uh clip point maybe? I don't know what you call that. There's his logo. That looks a little different. 
from his logo on his past ones, I think. Tell you what, for how big this, let's see, I don't know exactly how big this knife is, but for the size, it feels a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Let's see, this is a total length of about eight and an eighth. Let's see, eight and an eighth, and usually an integral's pretty weighty because you got one solid piece of titanium. This one's been heavily milled. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see a full review on this one. 3.85 ounces. Let's see. I didn't... Let's see what the blade length. It almost looks like the blade's bigger than the handle. Let's see. Three and a half inch blade. And a four inch grip area. So, that nice... Uh, medium full size uh, EDC knife comfortable in hand I always love when you have this gradual slope back here it really melts into the hand doesn't feel like there's any hot spots so far man I want to see let's see for any of y'all who are interested I want to see how thin that that hollow grind feels nice and thin let's check it out I hope this was Riot but I don't know. This is a M390 blade. Let's see. Let's zero it out. I love these calipers. These will do until I get me some more Matoyos. Matoyos, are, in my opinion, are the best calipers you can buy. These are good for the money. 11 thousandths. Wow. I knew it was thin. Let's see how it is back here. Now, I don't know. I don't know what angle. I mean, yeah, I don't know what degrees this thing sharpened at. That definitely, uh, that definitely matters. Wait, no, not 8,000. It's so thin, it's hard to get a good little grip right there. Let's see. Uh, around 11 thousandths, 10 thousandths all the way to the back over here. So 10 to 11 thousandths in the hollow. And let's see what the flat is. The flat should be thicker. That's the whole port point of the flat up here in the front. Yes, yeah, 17 thousandths on the flat. So you have your slicing, uh, your slicing right here in the hollow grind, grind. And you have your more, you know, Robust cuts, cuts, I guess, up here in the front. But that that's a pretty thin tip. Not that that really... I mean, depending on what you're doing with this knife, it is a, a thin tip. But you should, if you wanted to, you know, bore into a, a, a wood block or something, you should be all right. Uh, the closing action is okay. The flipping action is pretty good. Um... If this is a Riot made knife, uh, I will be taking this thing apart because they put this, let's see if I can see in there. They put this thick grease stuff in, in their knives and God, it, it hinders the action so bad. Any Riot that I've ever had that I took apart and got that grease out of there, it ran so much smoother after that. And I can't can't ever just leave anything alone. The flipper tab's pretty comfortable. You got jimping there. Everything seems to be in the right place. Only thing I'm noticing that I don't like so far is you can see this flare right here on the edge. There you go. You can see it right there. I see it if you can see it on this side as well. Yeah, it's worse on this side. It's the only thing that I I noticed right off the back. You got a perfectly straight bevel, and then you got this flare kick out. I guess they should have brought it up a little bit more. I think this would have been an excellent knife with a forward finger choil. You got enough blade. I'm not sure if this one's going to be a keeper for me. 
Um, I may end up selling it so I can fund some more knives for the channel or trading it off. So if, if somebody's interested and you got something cool to trade, uh, hit me up on my email. It's usually down in the description. And we can see if we can work something out. Um, not 100% yet, so just just so you know that. I haven't, haven't been able to really spend any time with it. So there you go. That is the A-Purpose Blades Zerks Integral. Um, if y'all want to see a review on it, y'all let me know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace!